Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we will be making these little gingerbread men. They are what I consider a no-sew pattern. So we will begin with the arms and then we'll do the legs and then we will start with the head. We'll attach the arms as we go, do the body and then attach the feet and then finish them off with the eyes stuffing and closing them up we will have to sew the cheeks on and give them a little mouth and if you're making the girl you'll have to sew the little bow on I'll be using a number four medium worsted weight yarn a 4.25 millimeter hook and then I'll be using 12 millimeter safety eyes but I would recommend 14 millimeter safety eyes. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you, but I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Um, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Okay, we're going to do the arms first, and you can start any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And what I like to do is just make a knot with a loop on the end, as if you were going to make a chain. Insert your hook. Grab your yarn. Chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. All that's doing is attaching your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are gonna do six single crochets into the loop going over top of our tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna pull your tail to close that little hole if you have one. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're gonna do six increases. So that's two, single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, increase eleven and twelve. Row three, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 16. So one single crochet, another single crochet for two, whoops, and an increase for three and four. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Five, six, 
increase 7 and 8. 9, 10, increase 11 and 12. 13, 14, increase 15 and 16. Row four is just going to be 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and your last one, your sixteenth single crochet, you're going to go in, grab your yarn, pull up, and stop right there because we're going to change our color to white. So grab your white or whatever color you're using and what you're going to do is you're just going to tie that on nice and close to the hook two or three times. So you're tying your new color onto your old color. And we're going to leave this old color because we're only doing one row and then we're going to be switching back to it. Now you're going to grab your new color, which is the white. And you're going to grab that and pull through to finish off that 16th stitch of the last row. So for row five, again, we are just going to do 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and again we're going to be changing color in the sixteenth stitch so we're going to grab our yarn Pull up and through and then leave those two loops on the hook. And I'm going to cut my white or my stripe color, whatever color you used. We're going to tie that to our old color, which is the brown for me. Nice and close up to the hook. Two or three times. And now we're going to go back to our old color. We're going to grab that, pull through to finish off that 16th stitch, and we finish that row. Row six is just going to be 16 single crochets all the way around. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 
15, 16. Row seven, we are gonna do what I call a double crochet cluster of four. And then we are gonna do 15 single crochets for the rest of the round for a total of 16 stitches. So for the double crochet cluster of four, you're gonna yarn over, go into your next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, you're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn and go through the first two. And now I'll leave two loops on your hook. So that's once. Do that again. Yarn over in that same stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up. You have four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn. Go through the first two loops, leaving three loops on your hook. So that's twice. Another time. Yarn over into that same stitch grab your yarn and pull up you now have five loops on your hook grab your yarn and go through the first two leaving four loops on your hook and that's three so we got to do one more yarn over in that same stitch grab your yarn and pull up you now have six loops on your hook grab your yarn Go through the first two, leaving five loops on your hook. And now that we have four, you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to go through all four of those loops. And there is your little cluster. And now we're going to do 15 single crochets around, but I'm going to count this as one and my first single crochet is two, so I can count my 16 stitches. So this will be two. Pull that tight if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oops, and 16 total stitches for that round. So if you have the wrong amount, make sure you counted your little cluster as one. Okay, our next row we're going to start decreasing and I'm just going to put a little tiny blip in here because I've been getting a lot of little tips and tricks about trying the invisible decrease and I have tried them before and I'm not great at them and I think I was doing them wrong. So I promised myself that my next project we were going to be doing invisible decreases for the whole thing. So bear with me. And um, maybe you're learning a new stitch right now and you might really enjoy it. And you can use an invisible decrease anytime you have to decrease. Okay, here it goes. So for row eight, we're gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one single crochet another single crochet for two and then for our invisible decrease we're going to be going in the front loops only so you normally will be going under both sides of that V with your hook this time you're going to go in and you're going to come up in the middle through those two V's and you're going to go in one and then you're going to go in the next and then you're going to finish off your single crochet Whoop. So in the front loop, you're going to insert your hook. Then you're going to go around and insert your hook in the next stitch. So you have two front loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull through those two loops, and then finish your single crochet by grabbing your yarn and pulling through your last two loops. Now you're going to do two more single crochets for four 
and five. And then your invisible decrease for six. So front loop, front loop, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn again, pull through the last two loops. I lost count. So that was six, I think. Seven. Eight. And your invisible decrease for nine. Front loop, front loop. Grab your yarn, pull up. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> See, I'm a little not great. <laughs> um, and then grab your yarn and pull through. So that was nine. So here's ten. 11 and your invisible decrease for 12. Front loop, front loop, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again and pull through. Now those are the only ones I'm going to do slow and describe. Now I'm just going to say invisible decrease or decrease. Okay for row 9 we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, Repeat that all the way around for eight. So one, decrease, and I'm doing invisible, for two, three, decrease, for four, five, Decrease for six, seven, and decrease for eight. There we go. Okay, rows ten to eighteen are just going to be eight single crochets all the way around and I'm going to do those consecutively so that's nine rows nine times eight is 72 so I'm going to do 72 single crochets and flip my marker every time I hit a set of eight one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flipping my marker. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Flipping my marker, keep on counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, Flipping my marker and keep on counting. 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, flip my marker, keep on counting, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. Okay, now we're going to stuff the arm, so grab some stuffing. However you, much you think it will take to stuff both of your arms. Split that in half so it's kind of even. And put the one to the side. And then you're going to take your other one and take about two-thirds of your stuffing. And that is going to go down into the hand part. And if you have trouble stuffing that little space in the arm, I got a great tip from one of my viewers, probably almost a year ago now, that if you use your scissors, it'll pop that down there nicely. So you want that hand to be nice and firm, but you don't want it to be so full that you start stretching the stitches and seeing your stuffing. And then you're going to grab your other little piece you left and you're going to evenly stuff that down the inside of the arm. And you want that to be quite light because you want your arm to be able to wrap around and come in the front um, for when it's sitting. And if you have that too firm, it's going to want to stick straight out instead of come forward. And once you have it all stuffed how you want it. You're going to insert your hook back in and we're going to put three single crochets across the top. So you're going to go in your next stitch and then your last stitch under both sides of the V. So the front and the back of your arm now and you're going to single crochet across and pull that tight if you need to. So that's one through both sides, front and back. That's two. And again, through the front and the back, that's three. And then you can tie that off and leave yourself a little bit of a tail um, for later, even though we aren't sewing them on. I do do something with the strings later that helps secure them nice and tight.
Okay, so if you've just finished your first arm, I will put a timestamp in the next screen so you can go back and do your second arm. And if you have already finished your second arm, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. Okay, now we're going to do the legs, and again, you can start any way you're used to. I am going to do my knot with the loop on the end, like I was going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab the yarn. And chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets over our tail. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, and then pull your tail if you have a little hole there that you need to tighten up. Grab your stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase, one and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, 9 and 10, and our last increase, 11 and 12. Row 3, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23, and 24. 
Row five is just gonna be 25 single crochets all the way around. And we're gonna be changing the color in the last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and now we're in our last stitch, stitch twenty-four, we're going to go in, start our single crochet, come up and leave those two loops on the hook so we can change our color. So grab your stripe color, so mine's white, and I'm going to tie that onto my um, gingerbread color. So nice and close to the hook, tie the old and the new once or twice, or three, or four. <laughs> and then you're going to leave this because we're going to go back into our old color next round. So then just grab your new color, so the white, pull that through your last stitch to finish it off. Okay, so for round six, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and for 24 stitch, we're going to change color. So we're going to go in, start our single crochet, grab our yarn, and pull up, leave those two loops, and we are going to change back to brown. So I'm going to cut my white and then just tie that again a couple of times, nice and close to the hook. And then grab your old color and pull it through to finish off that 24 stitch of the previous row. In row seven, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Our next row, we're going to be decreasing. So remember, if you did the invisible decrease in the hand and liked it, make sure you do the invisible decrease now on the foot. And remember, that's going through the, the front loop of the next two stitches and then finishing off your single crochet. And I'm just going to say decrease and you decide if you're doing invisible or regular so for row eight two single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 so one two and then your decrease for three four, five, decrease for six, seven, eight, decrease for nine, ten, Eleven decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And your last decrease for 18. Row nine, you're gonna be doing one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, decrease for two, three, Decrease for four, five, decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine. Decrease for 10, 11, and your last decrease for 12. Rows 10 to 17, you're just going to be doing 12 single crochets all the way around. And that's eight rows, and I'm going to do those consecutively. So eight times 12 is 96 I believe so one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11, 12. And flip my marker and keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, the marker, keep on counting, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Okay, now we're going to stuff the legs. So again, just like you did the arms, take your um, enough stuffing you think you'll need for both. Split it in half and put one to the side. And again, you're going to take about two thirds or maybe even three quarters. Yeah, maybe it's three quarters. And then you're gonna stuff that down into the bottom of the foot. So again, you want the foot nice and firm and kind of push out a bit to the sides to get that height on your foot. Careful again not to stretch your stitches where um, you decreased. And then when you put your last little bit in, you want your um, leg to be kind of a bit of a triangle because he's sitting like this and you don't want it to be full and he'll want to tip backwards. So you want the majority of it at the bottom 
of the foot and then just a little bit um, kind of at the top just so there's some there but it's not impeding his little tummy when he sits down so just like that so let's close that up now let's insert our hook and we want to have six single crochets across so we're going to go two and increase and two to get our six single crochets so in the first stitch on the front the last stitch in the back single crochet so that's one another single crochet through the front and the back that's two now we're going to do an increase in the next stitch through the front and the back so three and four and then two more single crochets five and six in the last stitch and then we're gonna tie that off and we don't need much just enough to tuck on the inside as we're going around these legs later on okay so if you've just finished your first leg i will leave a screenshot in the next frame so you can go back and do your second leg and if you've done your second leg just keep on watching and we'll continue on to the next part now we're going to start on the head and again you can begin any way you want as long as we have the same amount of stitches in row one and i will be doing my knot with the loop on the end just like you're going to make a chain insert your hook grab your yarn chain one Remember that's not a stitch that just attaches your yarn to your loop and for row one we're gonna do six single crochets into the loop going over top of our tail one two three four five six and then pull your tail if you need to close that hole in the center grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two you're gonna do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 so increase one and two increase three and four increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to do one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of eighteen one increase two and three four increase five and six seven increase eight and nine ten increase eleven and twelve thirteen increase 
14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, increase, Four and five, six, seven, eight, increase nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase fourteen and fifteen. 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we're gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. Um, but in our last stitch, we're not gonna finish because we're gonna be changing color. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, increase, 
So 35. And when we do our second part of our increase, we're going to go in, grab our yarn, pull up, and leave those two um, loops for our 36 stitch. And then we're going to change color. So grab your stripe color. And just like before, tie that a couple of times nice and tight to the hook. And we'll be leaving our old color on because we're just doing one row. Grab that new color, pull it through to finish off that 36th stitch. Row seven, we're gonna do five single crochets, a one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, Five, increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, thirteen and fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, increase, 41, and on our second stitch of the increase, remember just bring it up, leave the two loops on the hook because we're going to switch back to our main color. So I'm going to cut my white, and then I'm going to tie that nice and close to the hook, to my brown. A couple of times. And grab your old color and pull it through to finish off that last stitch of the row. Rows 8 to 14 is just going to be 42 single crochets all the way around and that's seven rows and I'm going to grab my row counter to do those rows. Um, so our next row 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, sorry, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row eight. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row nine. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 
38, 39, 40, 41, 42, so that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, so that was row 11. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, that was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 13. We have one more row to go of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So that was row 14, our seven rows of 42 single crochets. Row 15 is going to be five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. And remember, I'll be doing invisible decreases. So that is front loop, front loop, then finish off your single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and then your decrease. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and decrease for 12. Thir oops, is that the right one? Yep. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and a decrease. For 18. Nine. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and our last decrease for 36. Row 16, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And a decrease for 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25. 26. 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 17 is going to be three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. 
row 18 we are going to do two single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. one two and a decrease for three four five and a decrease for six if I can get in there there we go seven eight and a decrease for nine ten eleven and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Oops, I lost it there. There we go. All right, now we're going to add the arms. And we're going to start with three single crochets. One, two, three. Now grab your arm and remember this is your back side. You want to take it so your arms are facing, um, your thumbs are the front and your little strings should be facing the front as well. And we're going to put three single crochets across. So go in that first stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the um, head. So you're through both layers, grab your yarn, pull up and do your first single crochet. Then we're going to do that again through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. So that's two single crochets. And then again through the arm, through the next stitch of the head and finish that last single crochet. Now we are going to do six single crochets across the front starting in the next stitch and it's really tricky sometimes to tell what stitch it is so just make sure you're over in the next stitch. We're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, now grab your other arm and again make sure your back is on this side and your front is um, thumb and string are facing the towards the front and you're going to go through the first stitch of the arm the next stitch of the body or head I guess sorry I do that a lot body head um, finish that single crochet um, in the next stitch of the arm the next stitch of the head and then the last stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the head so that was three single crochets across and now you should have three left one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to start doing the body. Row 20, two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that around for a total of 24. One, 
2, increase, 3 and 4, 5, 6, increase, 7 and 8. Oopsie, 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, Increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row 21, we're just gonna do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, Two, three, four, whoopsie, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 22 is going to be three single crochets, a one increase. Repeat that around for a total of 30. One, two, three, increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, Increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row 23 is going to be four single crochets, one increase, Repeat that around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, whoopsie, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12. 
13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, increase, 35 and 36. Okay, we're going to put the eyes on now before we get too far. So make sure you got the front facing and you want to find your center. So I just kind of use my arms as my um, judge for where the center is. So I'll get them nice and even and flat. And then I just count over from where my knots are just to count those stitches. So about right here is my center. I'm just going to go up about where I think the eyes are going to go. Have a look. See if that feels like center to you. I actually have my in a stitch usually. Hmm, I'll go in. And then I want to count down from the top um, between rows. 11 and 12. So I want to find my first center loop as row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I want to go right in between 11 and 12 right here. Uh, so I just find the center, go right there. Double check you're still in the center. And I'm in a stitch, so I have holes on each side of my needle. You're going to grab your eyes. And I'm using 12 millimeter eyes, but remember, 14 would probably look better if you have them. So you're going to go to the first hole from where your center is, and you're going to count over four. One, two, three, four. You're going to go in that fourth hole. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're in that, that hole right beside the stitch. One, two, three, four. And in that fourth stitch. And then just kind of double check that you have them how you want them before you commit to putting the backs on. And I think I'm okay. So if you're happy with their position, get those backs on there. Nice and tight. There we go. Sometimes check that they go the same amount too. Like this one went down three. This one only went down two, so I'm going to give this one an extra little squeeze to get it down to the third little bump. Okay. All right, so let's get our hook back in. And rows 24 to 29 are going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. That's six rows, and I'm going to use my row counter again. All right, so 36, 
single crochets. Oh, something happening there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 24. Another row of 36 single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 22, sorry, <clears throat> 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 25. And we have another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 26. And another row of 32 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 27. And another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, that was row 28, and we're going to 29, so we have one more row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was 29. And that's our six rows of 36 single crochets. Row 30, we will be doing four single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 and remember i'll be doing the invisible decrease so one two three four and a decrease four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 31, we will be doing three single crochets and a decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, 
11 and a decrease for 12. 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16. Whoopsie. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and a decrease for twenty-four. Row 32, we are going to add the legs, um, and I sh you should have eight single crochets before you start your legs, but if you just want to double check, just in case for some reason you're not in the same spot as me, you're going to fold your little guy down so he's nice and flat, and you want to have 12 stitches across the front and 12 across the bottom. So I'm just going to check. I have 12 stitches here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this will be where my first leg goes. And it might, if you're doing left-handed, it might be the opposite. You might be going over to this side. And I'm just going to put a little marker in there just for everyone that might not be in the same spot and needs to find the front. So get your hook back in. And we should have eight single crochets to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and that brings us right to where our first leg is going to start. So I'm going to take that out now. Grab your first leg, and you want to make sure, since we're upside down, that um, your little step, if you have one, is facing you. Because when it, we'll, we'll be putting the leg on like this, and then when it goes down, we'll be seeing this side, and then this side will be on the bottom. So for me, I have my strings facing over this way, if that helps you at all. But you want that step facing you. And you're going to do six single crochets across. So one through the leg, one through the next stitch in the body. So one through the leg and the body. Two, through the leg, the next stitch of the body, three, through the leg, and the next stitch of the body, four, through the leg, and the next stitch of the body, five, and last one through the leg and the next stitch of the body, six. Pull that if you need to. And I'm just going to put my string on the inside here and work, work around it. Grab your other leg again. You want that step in the stripe facing you. 
to the first stitch of the body or the leg sorry and the next stitch of the body and I just pull this a little bit to make sure that knot is on the inside as I'm doing that first stitch then again through the leg and the next stitch of the body I'm sorry if you can't see this it's really awkward to try and show so that's two through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's three through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's four through the leg and the next stitch of the body sometimes you got to search for the right one that's five and through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's six and then we should have four single crochets left unless you had to adjust where your legs were one two three four and I forgot to tuck that in so I'll just um, use my darning needle and put that in later or now if you guys are ready for a break and maybe we actually maybe let's do that because let's stuff this up now so I'm just going to quickly thread that inside I haven't found any use for these even tying them I don't think makes much difference on the inside so I'm just putting it inside where my last stitch was and I'll pull that knot through there we go it kind of went through so grab your stuffing you're just gonna get that head stuffed nice and firm all your strings out of the way and put as much or as little in at a time as you want whatever is the easiest for you but you want to make sure you're getting that all nice and tight up top in the head um, I kind of go a bit to the side to give them a wider head be careful not to stretch your stitches where you decrease out the neck I should probably be looking at this before I get too far here. Oh yeah, look at to see he's quite lopsided. There we go. We need some stuffing on this side. And then when you're happy with how his face is, I'm just gonna pull these out because I kind of bent my posts up when I was stuffing him. If you're happy with the shape and firmness of his head, you're gonna put a little bit in his body. Um, you can make this as full as you want. I'm going to um, just do about half of it right now. So I have um, some room here for closing up. But if you have a hard time closing it up or stuffing it when it's at 18 stitches or less, um, you'll want to do most of your stuffing right now. All right, let's detangle and get our hook back in. I got stuffing everywhere. Okie dokie. Row 33, we are gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, 
repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And remember, invisible decrease if you're using it. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. Ten, eleven, and a decrease. For 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. Sixteen. 17, and a decrease for 18. 18. I'm going to do one more row before I add stuffing. Uh, we have two rows left if you need to stuff now. So for row 34, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, and a decrease for two, three, and a decrease, oopsie, come on, for four, Five and a decrease for six. I think these are getting pretty loose here. Seven and a decrease for eight, nine. And a decrease for 10. Eleven. And a decrease for 12. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of stuffing in here. His body doesn't have to be quite as firm as his head. But you want to make sure you have enough in the bum area that he's not going to topple over um, when you have him sitting down. So I just kind of like to spread it out to the back a bit. That's probably good. So it's still kind of flat on the top, but he's kind of poofing out a bit on the back. And you can test it if you need to. He's def oh, yeah, I think he's going to sit up. And you can play with this a little bit once he's done too. So when you're happy with your level of stuffing, we'll do our last row. And for row 35, six decreases. So remember, if you're doing the invisible, front loop, front loop. So one decrease. Two. 
two decreases. Three decreases. Four decreases. Whoopsie. Five. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it in the camera. Oops. Whatever I just did, I wrecked it. <laughs> Five decreases. Come on. And six decreases. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. I do find when I've done it this way, I feel like I maybe don't need to have all six decreases. Um, maybe if you're um, more experienced or you've given me one of the tips on um, doing the invisible decrease, feel free to let me know if you do like four maybe at the end because I find that you don't need all that um, extra there. It's almost like it little bumps left. All right, let's grab our darning needle. And we'll close that up. And I usually go in the top loop when I close, and I'm still going to stay in the top loop. And you're just going to be weaving in and out of those last six stitches. And then pull it tight to close. And then you're just going to tie it somewhere nice and close and then pop that inside. And I try and go in the center, but sometimes it's hard to find the center. I'm going to give that a good tug to hide that knot down in there. All right, let's deal with these strings here now. So thread one on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down in the last stitch where you attach the arm. So you kind of see where that knot is. Just go down in there somewhere and out the center back. And then do that with the other side. And I just like to make sure I go in the same row. So I just find this row and then go in there right where that stitch came out. And you're going to come back out in the same spot as your other arm tail. Tie it one time, trying not to cross your um, ends after you tie it. So I just wrap mine around the neck, flip them over, and now you're going to pull those knots in with your strings. Oops. And give it a little pull, bring them forward a little bit or as far as you want. And then give it a good tie to secure them where you have them. And then you will put those back in and out somewhere. It's 
So right back in where they came out and out inside and out some direction. Give them a good pull to hide that knot. Fix your little hole. And then cut them off. Let's do the cheeks now. So just like everything else, you're going to start however you want, making um, your loop or magic ring or chain. We're just going to be going around in the loop. And I'll be doing my knot with the loop. Insert my hook. Grab my yarn and pull up, do my chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your hook. And we're just gonna do six single crochets into the loop over the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, pull that tight if you need to, and then just join in that first, um, uh, what would you, V of your next stitch there. And then you'll tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to sew that on. And we need two of those, so let's just quickly make one more. So however you start, as long as you have your six single crochets in your loop, Do my chain one and then six single crochets over the tail into that loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and then join in the next stitch. And tie off. Moving your tail. I forgot to pull my little hole closed, so do that. Now I like to pin my stuff, so I'll be grabbing my pins. And I'm placing mine kind of on a 45 degree from the eye, about a stitch width over. So about like that. And I'm putting my tail on the outside. So that's where I'll be starting and beginning. So just about 45 degrees covering about three rows. And then put your pin in. And I like to use lots of pins so it doesn't move. It's not quite as precise when you do the first one, but when you do your second one, you're going to want to make sure you match that up nice and even. And I'm just going to put one, let's put one of these in the center maybe. Or you might not be able to see it's so little. Okay, so thread your end on and I'm just cutting this tail so it's out of my way. It's already underneath all six stitches so it should not go anywhere. Just hide it in there somewhere. And you want to make sure you're staying underneath the cheek when you're doing this. So you're going to come under the cheek a bit 
around a stitch and come up and I kind of do mine in two stages which is a little more work but it keeps it from moving around and then I'm going to come up a, a stitch in the cheek and then I'm going to go down the next stitch grab a piece of row I probably could add a few more pins in here I'll just have to be careful when I put the other cheek on don't move it too much and then you we went down this stitch so we're coming up this stitch and I'm going underneath both of the V's I'm going to go down the next stitch around a stitch of the head and out See, I'm making sure I stay under the cheek so you can't see this pink stitching. And I, go, oops. I went down that one, so up this one. And back down the next one and around some stitches in the head. Careful where you come out. You want to stay under the cheek still. I'm getting right close to where I started. Go up that stitch. And then you might have to play around a little bit right here. So I started actually right here. So I'm going to go in my next stitch past where I started. And I'm actually going to come backwards. You can go around twice if you feel like you need to. So I'm going up that stitch. And then I'm just going to come down around here. Which one did I go up? So down here. Then I want to tie underneath here. I'm making it look harder than it is but so right where I've come out now I want to find a stitch so right there that's one of my stitches for sewing it on and I'm going to go around that and that's where I'm going to tie my knot so it's underneath the cheek so nice and tight underneath there and then I'm also going to be going down underneath in that hole. And I think I'm going to tie these together. So I'm going to bring it out here for when I do my other one. So now you're going to have to match up your cheek on the other side and cut my end. Make sure I have the same side facing out. Get it on that 45 kind of degree angle from the eye. And when you feel like you have it pretty close, so I got my cheeks kind of in the center of the eye on the bottom and then a 45 over, going over three rows of stitches. I'm gonna put my pins in. you find it's moving sometimes it's helpful if you go down and then bring your needle flat against and push in and that gives you a bit more of a secure um, pin on your oops I can't do it with that one it kind of stays a little better I'm just gonna put one more in here okay so I went around this way. This time I'm going to go around this way. So I got to get down underneath the cheek and around a row. Kind of bringing that knot where I tied off under and inside. 
And then I'm going to come up the next stitch. Then I'm going to go down the next stitch, catch some of that face. Kind of pay attention to where this one came out. I'm a little worried that's too far, but I hopefully can pull that over. Pull that little piece of cheek over. So I can't see that. There we go. Yep. And you're going to go down the next stitch. Catch some row there. I know it's a little tiny fiddly. Go up the next stitch. We're getting close to where we started. So down the next stitch, grab some of that face. And then up, kind of going where my knot is here. So I should be all the way around. So I'm going one more past down. I don't want to see that. There we go. Back up. And then back towards my knot so I can tie that in. So just down and out this time so I can grab. I'm going to grab this stitch right here. That was one of my sewing stitches, and I'm going to tie my knot there. They're even. I think once the mouth is on, they'll look okay. So I'm just going to bring that back inside out where I brought my other one and then I'm going to tie that and then take it out the back of the head Right back in that same hole and out the back. Little pieces of stuffing everywhere. And give that a trim. Whoops. Um, double check the front where you did that, that you didn't make a hole. And just if you did, give it a little fix. It looks a little wonkier in the camera than it actually is because the angle my camera is, but it is even when I look at it. Okay. All right, grab your mouth color. I'm going to use white. And somewhere down below on the chin, just come inside, close to the neck. And you're going to come at the stitch just beside the cheek. Um, well, if you want a mouth like I'm making. So this is what my mouth's going to look like. Um, <clears throat> so this stitch right here, I'm two rows down from the eye, bottom of the eye. And I'm just inside the cheek. leave a little bit of a tail on this side for tying and then I'm going to go down two rows so one two and somewhere right close to the center I think right here maybe I feel like I'm in between 
And then I'm going to go over to the other side, matching where I first started here. So just under the eye two rows and just inside where the cheek is. Definitely not going to be even. That doesn't look too bad. Then I'm going to come back in where the point of my mouth is. And I'm going to come out where my first tail is here. Let's see how we did. It's a little crooked, but if we loosen this one a bit and tighten this one a bit, it might not be so bad. Like that. And then you'll tie them and put them out the back, fairly loose, so you don't tighten your mouth any more than it already is. And then just go in that same hole outside the back. A little bit of a pull. You don't want to have that showing, but you don't want to tighten your mouth. Okay. Okay. Now get your bow color and we're going to be chaining. So you want, if you're making the bow tie, you want to have um, a good chunk of tail at both ends. So we're going to, I'm going to start mine way up here. So make your knot with a loop. Insert your hook and we're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now starting in the second chain from the hook, so not the one on your hook, not this first one, but this second one right here, we're going to do six single crochets across. One. And I'm going in the top loop of these chains. Two. Three. Four. Five and six in the last one. Then you're going to chain one, turn, and then you're going to do six single crochets across again. So in this first stitch right here, one, two, three, four, five and six down in the last one make sure you're through both sides of the v's and then tie off leaving again a nice long tail for the bow tie one or sewing on um, the little bow on the head now grab your needle again And what we're going to be doing is threading this down into the center. This one will go to here, and then this one will come over to here, too. So decide your front. So I'm going to have this the front because I can see my V's. I don't know if you can see that. It's so bright. So this is going to be my back. So I'm just going to come down and go through these V's. I'm going through one, two, three, one, two, three. Kind of going halfway through this middle V here. So just wherever you feel like center is. And then when you pull, you want to pull that knot down, but you don't want to lose your corner. 
So only pull it as far as you can and still have that corner there. Then do the other side exactly the same. I am going to catch the side here since it's lower. And then I'm going through one, two, seems like two and a half stitches somehow. And then make sure you keep that point. And now you're going to tie them really loose so you're not pulling the corners of your bow in. So nice and loose. And then as you go, a few more, tighten up so that it's secure. So you can pull as tight as you need to as long as you're not um, pulling the corners in. So I did three times. Now I'm going to take my longest one and I'm just going to wrap it around the center a couple of times. Make sure it's even. You may have to do it a couple of times or move it. Just so you're making that little kink in the bow. And when you're happy with how many times and the evenness, you're just going to tie that once or twice. Try and keep your knot under on the center. And then if you're making the boy, all you need to do is tie that around his neck. Make sure I turn mine the other way. And I just do a bow, but you can um, tie it in knots and hide the ends. It just all depends if you want to remove this at any time or do different colors. All right, so there's our little Mr. Man. And then for a little lady here, um, I've only ever, I've only pinned this on so far. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it where I want it. And then I'm just gonna go around a row. So let's put a pin in there. I'd like it to kind of sit upwards, but let's see what happens. Maybe if I pin it, where do I want it? I'll pin it on each side and see if it stays that way as I sew it. And I don't know what to do with the other end. Probably just tie it and hide it in. So thread your needle. And I'm thinking you can either go around a stitch, which will um, kind of pull it closer to her head, or you could try going around um, around the bow. Let's go around the bow, see what happens. Because I want mine to stand up. So we're all learning together right now if this is gonna work. I think it will. You just gotta make sure I better stay in the same stitches. I don't want, huh, come on. So I went in there and around there and then up around. You only just gotta attack it once or twice, I think. And then I'm gonna tie that. That's gonna come close to her head anyway. I think. So I'm going to tie it, but try and keep my knot down low. Nope. I don't think those pins did anything. This may be something you might want to do a little differently than I'm doing it. But for video purposes, that is how I would attach it. 
And then just go back down and out somewhere. And I'm pulling that hard enough to get my knot through where I tied it into the head. Let's see how she looks. Oh yeah, pinning did absolutely nothing. But she's cute. All right, there we go. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.